in this particular question we are given 100 questions divided into three groups a b and c everything in group a carries one mark in group b carries two marks and in group c carries three marks it is also known that group a should have at least 60 percent now in the first question we are given b contains 23 questions which means a total of 46 marks then how many questions are there in group c now group c will have at least one question because each group has at least one question so that means the minimum number of marks that group c has is three now how many questions are left 23 are gone in group b one is gone in group c so i have a max to max a uh, total of 76 questions left for group a what will be their marks their marks will be 76 only if they are in group a what is the total score well the total score is 76 plus 46 plus 3 that is 76 plus 49 that is the same as 75 plus 50 or 125 now 60 percent so these are the total marks right now when i have assumed there is only one question in c 60 percent of 125 that is how much well that is three fifth of the total that is a total of 75 marks so definitely there can be one question in group c so a may be the answer now should uh, should we check for two well, if you make the uh, number of questions in group C as 2 or you take the total as 6, then your grand total will not be 125. Your grand total will also go up to 127. And in group A, you will only have 75 marks. 75 marks is not 60% of 127. So the number of uh, questions in group C cannot be 2. So 2 cannot be the answer, 3 cannot be the answer. As a matter of fact, anything other than 1 cannot be the answer. And that is the reason answer for the first one is A. Applying very similar logic, group C contains 8 questions. So my score in group C is 24. Now let's say group B contains X questions. So my score in group B will be 2X. And in group A, well, 8 questions are gone in group C, X questions are gone in B. So number of questions as well as number of marks in group A is 92 minus X. So what is the percentage share of B? Well, B will be uh, 2X into 2, sorry, 2X is its score divided by the total that is 92 plus 24 is 116 plus X. This should be greater than 20% or greater than one fifth, which means 10x by 116 plus x should be greater than 1. So, this is my condition. Now, if I put x as 11, I get 110 by 116 plus something. So, 11 cannot be the answer, which rules out option A. 12 will mean 120 by 128 which is again not possible. So 12 is also 120 by 128 is less than one. So 12 is also ruled out. Then if I put X as 13, I get 130 by 129. That is possible. So 13 is a possible value. Now there is no need to check further. 13 is a possible value. I have already ruled out option two. So there is only one more option which has 13 and that option is option C. So my answer for the second question will be C. Thank you.